the big day. That's it. I, I don't, I don't, I don't. You like to think that the dude who committed musical genocide wouldn't also be in the headline for something political, but he, he, he is. It's crazy because I can't be like, just stick to music because I don't want another big day. Basically, Chance the Rapper endorses Kanye West's recent decision to run for president 2020. Now, while myself and many others believe this Kanye West admission or announcement to be a uh, a promotional run for his album that's coming soon. Others, diehard Kanye West fans and others that actually believe that he's not only going to run, but he actually has a chance of winning. Chance the Rapper is just one of many examples of people to come out and support Kanye West's very odd decision making and take him seriously. This isn't me telling you not to support Kanye West because politically I just disagree with him. This isn't me telling you who to vote for, which party to align yourself with. It's just saying that this is a very crucial time and the last thing you would want to do is vote for someone with zero experience. In the past four years should have been an example as to why we should not do that. So Chance the Rapper coming out to say that people are racist because they don't want to vote for Kanye and instead want to vote for Biden is a little crazy. I'm going to bring up the tweets, right? Because I don't really like to reference tweets like that, but it's really telling how all this came about. The Donda track that Kanye West kind of so-so released came out today and it was on Chance's timeline. And Chance said, y'all expect me to vote for Biden? Using the song that Kanye West had just kind of released snippets of as an example for why he should run for president? What the fu is you are you on acid again? Which again tells me that there are people that believe Kanye West should be president off the premise of his musical talent. That was the first telling thing about this. People decided to then say more about Chance the Rapper and tell him why this seemed like a bit of an odd post. He then goes on to say, are we a two-party system? Well, no, but see, Kanye didn't take this seriously enough to properly plan it to make sure there will be enough people even participating in the party that he's running in for the current popular two parties to even be at risk of losing. Very odd that Chance the Rapper was the same guy who came out two years ago in defense of Kanye West saying, black people can be Republican, is now asking if there is a two-party system. You seem to lean to pretty much one side back then and now you completely flipped again. Like this lack of consistency is just the prime behavior of a dick rider. Kanye West's late entrance into the game, his late registration, literally proves how seriously he takes this. Which is why I really have no qualm with Kanye West because I know at the end of the day, he's not going to impact people who take voting seriously at least from my knowledge. Because the people who would realistically vote for Kanye West, if they say they take voting seriously, don't normally vote and haven't been voting. Because if you really took voting seriously, you wouldn't put a guy in office that has no experience. There's been this trend on Twitter the past few weeks that like there's a show villain and then there's like a real villain. And then I realized Kanye West is like the face for the villain right now. But Chance the Rapper and people who put people in office that have no experience are the actual villains. Chance, you cannot at the same time say you care so much about black people and then put somebody in office that has no idea how to help them. You're putting everything that you've been preaching and talking about over the last decade or however long you've been popular on the line because you love Kanye West different than you love black people in general. And you don't want to admit that. Are you more pro-Biden or anti-yay? Chance, Please get a divorce. I'm begging the same dude that came out to criticize J. Cole for publicly asking no-name questions that he could have figured out by himself. You were one of the first people to come out and call Cole corny for that. Then you go and do something that's 10 times worse by trying to elect someone that has no experience in office? Where is Ja? Chance the Rapper and people like Chance have this habit of believing that because they have a hope for something, that means the person that they elect to take charge of whatever their hopes and dreams are is gonna be the proper fit for a set job. You cannot put someone in power just because you believe in their future with no evidence of their past. In this case, it being politics, it would be the worst thing in the world to go based off what you hope for someone to be, as opposed to what they've shown you. I always felt a way about people using the word presidential. Like a nigga acting or not acting presidential. Was Andrew Jackson acting president? You know what I really hate? And, and Chance is like embodying this to me. Is a dude that asks questions 
that there are already answers to as a way to justify their own skepticism and ignorance. I don't mind being a skeptic in some instances. Some Sometimes it's healthy being skeptical, but using that to make yourself seem like you're asking the real questions that have already been answered, just so you could justify your lack of reasoning for why you would vote for Kanye, even though he's shown you that there are no examples of a political background or history, is more concerning than people thinking that Kanye West is having a bipolar episode because he wants to run for president. Because to the public's knowledge, Chance the Rapper has no mental issues at all. And this still came out of your mouth. You're so blinded by your admiration of an individual that you completely lose sight of what the goal for your people overall should be. Chance is a fan. Chance, you're a victim. Here we go, CSI. I love that video. You're not supposed to earn people's votes based off of what you promise. You're supposed to earn people's votes based off of your history. Chance was like late to the conference, but still decided to take the podium. I know you said you had like a collab album coming a few years ago, but like, is it really that important? The people you want to vote for should have to have some type of credentials and you should have a level of respect for yourself as a voter for who you're willing to put in and not in office. Because if anyone can get in, what the fuck is the point of voting? What would be the point of eligibility? What would be the point of, of past works? <laughs> this nigga gotta be cake. Like, did Kanye tell your mom not to give you shots when you came out the womb or something like that? Is this why you are the way you are? You, we, I, remember to keep voting locally and if biden actually does end up becoming president um at least we can say that he won't remember having said anything racial in his past chance the rapper please stick to your wife <laughs>